Okay, in 22, we have to find angle P, and we know that arc WZY is 200 degrees. Now in the picture, we also know that arc WX, call that X degrees, and arc ZY, call that X degrees, um, they're equal to each other because these chords are congruent, chords WX and ZY. So... <clears throat> When it says WZY is 200, that tells us a lot. Um, it tells us, for one, that uh, we could express just WZ as 200 minus X. So if we take 200 degrees and subtract X, we can express that. And it also tells us that the remaining part of the arc is... 160 degrees. So if we subtract WX, um, this part here would be 160 minus X. So now um, we could take angle P and we can express it as 200 minus X minus 160 minus x divided by 2. Because when you have two secants intersecting outside the circle, it's going to equal half the difference of the two arcs that are you know, intersected by those secants. So now we got angle P is going to simplify to just 40 over 2, because 200 minus 160 is 40, and then negative x minus negative x is like a plus x. So we get 20 degrees um, <clears throat> for angle P. And that's it.